You probably recognize that as the intro to All Your Love by Magic Sam. And in case you didn't, you should really check out Magic Sam. He was a guitarist who died way too young. His big hit, All Your Love, he did it at the age of 20. And all that stuff on the Cobra labels and some other small labels in the 50s is just a astonishing music. And it has such an original, distinctive sound um, for some reasons that we'll get into. And then his comeback was on Delmark Records and he was really rising up and then he died really young in 1969. Just crazy about Magic Sam. And let's talk about All Your Love now. It's in C and it has a seven bar intro. And he, I've listened to six versions or seven versions of this song. He plays it the same way every time with very little difference. So this is kind of a set piece. It's not a song to really jam on. I think it's a song that you sort of have to play note for note and just kind of honor the song and, and play it that way. It's the way the song goes. And there's plenty of time uh, to put in your own style, but uh, some things really need to be played note for note. And to get a sound, there's a few things. I think one really big thing is I would really try playing without a pick to that's the way uh, Magic Sam played, and you can get a lot of expression without a pick with this kind of style. And it's a challenge to play those really kind of fast runs that he puts in with your fingers, but uh, it really sounds great. It has more of a human touch, and, and the way he plays his chords, he almost like caresses the chords, like, Oh, you love! And then... You can probably hear the tremolo on there. The tremolo was a big part of his sound for a lot of his most famous songs, but lots of times he didn't use a tremolo. Sometimes he didn't use reverb or tremolo. And I would either use tremolo or reverb because when you use them both, you can really get lost. There's tremolo and reverb, right, you know? Now here it is. Without the reverb, that actually, the sound on the Cobra stuff is without the reverb and it's more in your face. It actually cuts through without reverb. He used those two tools very expressively. So, and he used his fingers really expressively. So he played a lot of the same notes that, Ed, that Freddie King did when he did a straight blues, but Freddie King kind of sounds like a tank and Magic Sam sounds like a poet, you know. But that's not, that's going to be the subject for another lesson. And let's talk about All Your Love. There's a great video of him playing Earl Hooker's guitar that's a real popular video, and it's great because it really shows his right hand attack, and it shows his fingering, too. Um, he's using his thumb, not like this. Yeah, you could do that, but this sounds better. Because, see this little tug? You're going to do a little tug there. So anyway, that's right out of your C minor chord, right? On that uh, video, the black and white video, he actually vibratos the whole chord because the thing about Magic Sam, he was like Mr. Excitement. You know, he always, it's like his music was like a series of climaxes, one after the other, especially if you listen to Live at the Alex Club. That's like over the top. That's a great way of saying, hey dude, we're on the five, right? And this whole thing about a seven bar intro, you don't have to really count to seven while you're playing this. You could just go, you do this three times. It's interesting on the Cobra record, it's like it didn't they didn't know he was starting or something. So all you hear is one more thing I should say is that he loved to start with these clicks, which are just so awesome. And 
that just heightens the drama already. And I like I saw Eddie C. Campbell. He go. It's really great. It's like a signal. It says wake up. Or sometimes like like when Magic Sam did backstroke, he go. Or not backstroke when he did a. Uh, um, riding high. So it's a great uh, device to like get your attention and you just count it off that way. But I like this one the best. So three times. And then five. Once you hit that note, you're on the five. So that's typical pentatonic stuff. It's just, he's putting it in just the most impactful spot. Sometimes you can do a little weight there instead of... It just heightens the drama. Then do it twice, and then you're ready to start your song. Oh, you love. Which leads me to this chord. This is the famous Magic Sam chord by now. It's like, here's a ninth, right? That's what they, that's, a, you know, the typical guitar player way to play it. So the way Magic Sam played it was like this. You have a tr you have a, a triangle here on the eight seven and eight. Then a, just leave out the B string and your pinky's on the high E string and just caress the chord. The great thing about this uh, song, I mean about this chord, is that. When you put your finger over just one, yeah, I could just zoom it, but why not just do this? So I just move the same shape to my second finger on the E string, and you have that. This is the song that Magic Sam uses in, in Blues for the West Side. Da da da. Ba 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 da da. Ba ba da. Ba da da. It's a great chord. Those are your two licks. They're very low full finish. I've got to have one day. leads me to the solo which is really cool and um, it's based on Lonely Avenue by Ray Charles just move your wrist a little down instead of up instead of the ball of your hand kind of up near the neck move it down to sort of force this up and give yourself some leverage so it's not just your finger moving like unsupported It shouldn't be that hard. If it's hard, you've got to adjust this part of your hand and a little movement with your wrist to make it work better, okay? And the notes are not that hard. This is like part of 8-8-8 on your C minor. And then just put your third finger down, 10-10-10 on G, B, E strings. And notice the roll. So then he goes, he kind of busts out of it. This is very little Folsom. 
Sometimes he vibrados it real hard, and sometimes he goes, just goes. It's like a moan. And then he goes. I love that. You can do it like that. Or. Or you can do all downs. Sounds good like all downs. Then he gets out of it really great. All right, I'm gonna try the guitar solo now. I'm gonna do it kind of slow. The main thing is that everything's gotta go like in the holes here. You know, even if you play like some different notes, that's fine, but um, they're set up for the maximum impact. So put your phrases where these phrases are and you'll be looking good. So. Let me try that one again. So that last one really summed it all up, didn't it? I mean, he's this is just so it's so heavy what he's doing. So that's all your love in a nutshell. It should be like this like lingering pain you know it expresses this lingering longing it's like romantic with an edge so that was kind of his mystique and that's why the song is so uh, catchy and um memorable it, it's it would have been so neat to see what how he would have developed if he had lived longer so do subscribe to my youtube channel for more looks at the greats of chicago blues and all kinds of blues so thanks a lot. Bye-bye.